Great, I think we're now recording. Um, so firstly, I just want to thank Interactive Minds for giving me the opportunity to actually record this and share it with you. And I'm very sorry that I couldn't have um, been at the event last week. So my name is Kelly Guerin and I am the Partnerships Director at Partnerize. And so my role at Partnerize is to grow our partner ecosystem and create new opportunities for our brands. And my presentation is five things you didn't know about partnership marketing. So I'm going to be talking through the slides now. However, if after the presentation, there is any questions or if anyone is interested in following up with me, um, I believe Alex and the team will be sharing my email address. So please, um, I do encourage you to get in touch. Um, so let's get started with the presentation. So when people first think of affiliate marketing, um, a lot of people consider it to be a pretty one dimensional channel that just consists of coupon and cashback sites. And whilst this may have been the case historically, the channel today is actually a lot more diverse. And so the types of partner categories that we actually frequently see um, our clients um, connect with are all of these that are now on screen. And so, as you can see, we have loyalty partnerships. So a great example here would be Qantas Loyalty. And obviously within the Qantas Mall, um, our advertisers get the opportunity to feature and to advertise in exchange for a CPA commission. Um, some other um, companies or partners that operate in this way um, are actually fintech partners. So we're seeing the likes of Zip, Pay, and also Klarna now operate as loyalty affiliate partners. And they're actually dri driving quite a significant amount of traffic for our brands. We also have social media influencers and bloggers. So um, these two categories are obviously pretty self-explanatory, but they are becoming um, increasingly bigger parts of the pie. And there's definitely a lot more demand for influencers now on a CPA commercial. We have news and entertainment sites. So um, again, in the past, these would have been sites that would have predominantly operated on CPM commercials and also flat fees. However, we're now seeing them kind of more open to working on CPA commercials, obviously looking for those additional revenue streams as well. We've got comparison sites. So these will be particularly important for finance and telco brands. And then we've also got offline partnerships. So if you are not familiar with what an offline partnership would look like, a great example is actually cash rewards. So cash rewards are one of the biggest cashback players in the Australian market. And they actually allow their users to connect their credit card to their cash rewards account and then shop in store. And so that connection then allows cash rewards to credit them their cash back to their account after purchasing, which is pretty cool. And then we've also got brand partnerships. So brand partnerships, essentially two brands coming together to market each other's databases. And I'm gonna talk through a number of brand partnership examples in the coming slides. So now is probably a good time to actually touch on who Partnerize is and kind of how we fit into this matrix and this kind of new view of uh, partnership marketing. And so we are a partner marketing software solution. We have a presence across the globe. So we've offices in EMEA, the US and also APAC. Uh, I'm obviously based in our Sydney office. And so we work with big brands such as, you know, Meyer and the Iconic, but we also work with local Queensland brands as well, such as uh, What If and also Surf Stitch. And so essentially what we do is we have to automate um, affiliate marketing or partnership marketing and um, allow our clients to build and scale their programs just using one single platform. So I'm going to talk through some of the features and functionalities that our platform offers. And as you can see, there's quite a few. So the first is partner discovery. So essentially we give our brands access to thousands of partners using our partner discovery tool. And alongside this, as you can see on the screen, we actually provide quite a um, significant amount of data on each of these individual partners to ensure that our advertisers can have or make an informed decision based on these data points. So we show where that partner ranks in terms of kind of um, country a website ranking, we show their website visits, and then also in terms of verticals, which verticals they actually perform best in. And so with this data, then you can actually decide, right, is this partner a good fit, yes or no? And if yes, you can reach out to them via the partner's platform. 
We also have advanced tracking solutions. And so this is, this is great for an affiliate marketer who doesn't have enough time in the day, which is every marketer, um, but needs to be able to support their partners in terms of bespoke and customized tracking links. So essentially what our platform does is it gives the partners their own login, ensuring that they can actually create and automate the creation of their own tracking links without actually input or support required from advertisers. We also offer an advanced commissioning tool, and this is super important for brands who are focused on profitability and ROI and need to be able to create granular commission rates to support this. So the brands that we work with often have in excess of a dozen commission rules. And some of these commission rules would be on new customer versus existing. So, for example, offering a lower commission rate for an existing customer. Um, but also commission rates can be set up against categories, product types. Um, if you're traveling, you can set up a commission rate on flight types, so long haul versus short haul. And really the list and opportunities are limitless. It just purely depends on the data that you track um, as a unique brand. Measurement is of course important, which is why we allow our brands to build customized reporting um, suites and views based on the data that they have and that they track in their data layer. In terms of payments, we also automate the payments of all of your affiliate partners using just one single invoice. So this is particularly useful if you are a brand even who works across multiple markets, multiple currencies, we actually allow you to pay all of these partners, regardless of currency via just one invoice. And then we will then convert that and distribute it to the partner in their desired currency. However, in a more kind of foundational sense, this is also just super handy if you're a brand who works with dozens of different partners. Um, and from a finance perspective, the last thing you want is to be able to, or the last thing you want is to have to um, actually create and manage all those invoices individually. Um, so we kind of streamline and automate all of that. Protection is also really important. So that's why we have a fraud um, prevention suite. And um, within this, um, on a basic level, we just ensure that all of your conversions track at, um, at appendix status. And essentially this ensures that you get the chance to review and sense check all of your conversions at the end of the month before you pay out to ensure that they are genuine. And we also have tools that support with this that essentially give you a flag to say, hmm, this, you know, this might be suspicious activity and it warrants further investigation. And so that is all of um, our features in a nutshell. Um, and in sum, what these tools help our advertisers to do is automate a lot of the manual tasks so that they actually have more time to spend on profitability and growth. So let's get into the core of the presentation, which is the five things that you did not know about partnership marketing. So a lot of marketers are actually surprised to learn that affiliate marketing is actually the fastest growing acquisition, ch acquisition channel at the minute. And so in 2020, affiliate marketing budgets increased twice that of other digital marketing channels. And this was a, um, uh, outlined in a report from the IAB and PWC. And so um, at Partneries, we actually find that this channel accounts for anywhere between 15 to 20% of total online acquisition revenue. And again, this is something that a lot of marketers are quite surprised to learn as well, because um, historically it's kind of been the forgotten channel. And so you might be wondering, what is accelerating and really driving this growth in the channel? And there are a couple of things worth mentioning. So the first is that it's a very low risk channel. So it requires little to no upfront investment to get started. And all of the commercials are based on a CPA. And so this is particularly attractive for brands who are launching into a new market or simply launching into a new vertical or category and have limited investment. The second um, thing worth noting is that it is a very cost effective channel. So um, brands can set their own commission rates based on their ROI or commission targets. And this is really, really attractive, especially in these days where, you know, Google and um, Facebook advertising costs are increasing and you really don't have a say in that. And that's really eating into margins and ROI. 
And finally, it's actually worth noting that a lot of partners in this channel are brands in and of themselves. So a great example is Shopback, which is now the largest cashback player in the Australian market. And they entered the, entered the market um, less than two years ago, but they really invested heavily in above the line TV advertising. And this actually helped to kind of elevate the channel as a whole and actually accelerated revenue growth for a number of our brands. So number two and the second insight is anyone can be a partner. And so as we saw on one of my first slides, there are lots of different categories of partners now beyond just kind of standard coupon and cashback. But really, we could take this a step further and say that anyone with a database that you can market to can be considered a partner. And so if you are a brand listening to this, the likelihood is that you're already working in partnerships. You might just not be tracking it. And so one of my favorite examples from last year was the iconic and binge partnership. So if you're not familiar with binge, they're a relatively new online streaming service. And they entered the Australian market last year and they partnered with the iconic to raise awareness and um, grow online subscriptions. And so these um, you know, aren't two categories that you would naturally pair together in terms of uh, streaming and online retail, but they aligned really well because they spoke to a very similar target audience. And so the partnership itself consisted of the two companies creating a limited edition inactive wear range, uh, which was quite smart and obviously appealed to you know, changing consumer demands during the pandemic, but there were benefits for both sides from this partnership. So for Binge, they obviously got access to the Iconic's huge database um, to raise awareness and obviously drive sales. And for the Iconic, there was great PR around it, but it also showed and allowed them to pivot their offering um, and adapt to consumer behavior and, and changes that occurred last year. So this was really smart um, in my opinion, but. Um, although, you know, partners were not directly involved in this particular partnership, we do support many partnerships like this. And so there's lots of ways that you can activate a brand partnership, whether it is via EDM or on site or social media. Um, you know, we're really the platform and the tool kind of behind this that helps you to kind of track and attribute. Um, so there's definitely lots of opportunity. Um, some of the best or most successful programs or partnerships that I've seen like this are those who those brands who come together and offer their um, audiences um, uh, an offer in the shape of like a coupon for example and that really helps to drive those bottom line sales alongside reaching um, those top line marketing objectives. Insight number three, partnerships are all about profitability. So this might sound like a very obvious statement, but traditionally marketing partnerships haven't always had um, a firm emphasis on sales and revenue, whereas affiliate marketing partnerships are all about sales and ROI. And there's a couple of reasons for this and definitely the advent of you know, affiliate marketing technologies and platforms is helping to, to drive this because you can now track activity. Um, but probably most importantly is the ability to commission on a more granular level. And so as we can see on the screen, um, there are two sets of parameters and these are typically the commissioning parameters that we will see our brands use. So on the left, we have parameters that airline uh, companies or travel brands will typically set commission rules against and on the right hand side we'll see um, parameters here that we typically see retail brands commission against so if we just talk through a few examples and I'll take airline um, first of all so if I am um, an airline company and I make a higher margin on long-haul flights I actually have the opportunity to set a higher commission on long-haul flights to actually incentivize my partners to sell this inventory over short haul. I could actually make this um, slightly more complex and intelligent and I could layer on another rule and say that if um, a partner is selling 
business class tickets or extras, um, I can actually I can actually offer an additional reward or commission incentive. And so this also can be applied to retail brands in that they can apply commissions to different categories or brands based on their margins. And the reverse is also true. So if I'm a retail brand, let's say, for example, I am Foot Locker and I am sell, selling the Converse brand. However, that brand, the margins for Converse are actually quite low. I can actually choose to omit Converse from my affiliate program and instead focus um, on other products, other categories, other brands and get incentivized my partners to actually promote and sell these brands. So insight number four is innovation is at the core of every strong partnership strategy. And so I'm gonna talk through a few examples of innovation that we have seen at Partnerize. However, it's worth noting that you can be innovative in the way that you activate your current partnerships, or you can show innovation in how you choose and select the partners that you work with. So here are just a couple of examples. Um, let's take AirAsia first. So AirAsia, like many brands in the travel space last year, faced a number of challenges. And as a result of the pandemic, they actually had to pivot their offering. So they launched into a number of new verticals, retail and food delivery being two of them. However, with this, they needed a really cost-effective way to actually acquire new customers. And it was actually at this point that they sought out the help of partners. So we helped them launch and set up their new affiliate program, which consisted of a number of keystone affiliate partners across the Southeast Asia region. However, they also wanted to activate their employee database. And this was where sorry, I lost the screen. And this is where things got really intelligent. So they actually turned a number of their employees into affiliate partners. And this was a really um, innovative way to approach the channel um, and obviously a very cost effective way to kind of acquire new uh, brand ambassadors. But they were lucky in that a number of the, their employees were micro influencers in and of themselves. Um, and it was a great way to actually reward employees and incentivize them to go out and speak and promote AirAsia and their new product offering. Charlotte Tilbury, um, very similar model to AirAsia. Um, in this instance, they actually transformed their makeup artists into affiliate partners. Um, Lululemon, another really interesting and creative um, sign in the partnership channel was when they decided to run their ambassador program on the partnerized platform. And so essentially um, they transformed their, um, their um, database of small studio owners and also yoga instructors into affiliate partners. And they did this by creating unique QR codes so that these yoga instructors could promote and sell inventory offline. Um, but they also get them online tracking links as well so that they could drive uh, traffic from their website or social channels. So these are just, um, these are just, uh, I guess, a small few examples of how brands are kind of looking at the channel in a more creative way. And last but not least, um, insight number five is that historical challenges can be automated. And so um, I guess historically the channel and this channel was quite a manual channel to operate. And the person that used to run the channel definitely needed to be quite technical. So they needed to be able to support partners in the creation of tracking links. They needed to be able to support testing. Um, and they also probably needed to be an Excel whiz in that they needed to um, manipulate and um, bring together reports um, and data from multiple sources in order to gain insights. However, with the uh, growth of affiliate marketing platforms and software solutions such as Partnerize, this has actually changed. And so 
what we now see is an actual requirement for somebody who has that perfect mix of kind of creative and commercial acumen and somebody who can actually go out and forge new partnerships and identify creative opportunities as I've talked through in the previous slides. And so this is what Partnerize is really passionate about is creating technology solutions that allow the channel to be automated. And so, you know, innovation can essentially occur. And to close, I actually wanted to kind of talk through an example of a brand that we've been working with for a number of years who, who has really kind of lived and breathed all of these um, insights and, you know, has definitely taken multiple steps to automate the channel uh, and create growth in that way. And so, like I mentioned, they've been a longstanding client of ours. Um, Surf Stitch have been with us for four years now, but when they turned to partners, it was at a point when they identified that the affiliate channel was actually one of their fastest growing acquisition channels. And so they really wanted to be able to take advantage and accelerate this growth. So they migrated away from an affiliate network and a managed service and actually took their program in-house using the Partnerize platform. In terms of partnerships, Brand partnerships were really important for SurfStitch, which is why they launched a number of brand partnerships on our technology. Um, Hawaiian Airlines was one of these uh, partnerships. And again, um, you know, illustrating how different verticals such as airlines and uh, retail can actually be really complementary from a database and audience perspective. In terms of profitability, they used our commissioning tool to achieve this and ensure that they were able to improve their ROI uh, targets. And so what they did is they set up a tiered commission strategy based on their different categories and the margins that were actually driving these categories. Innovation has definitely been at the core of what these guys have been doing. So we actually had the pleasure of hosting their GM at our annual innovation day last year. And he came on and spoke about some of these strategies in a bit more detail. Um, but they had some amazing results. So from year one, we actually saw 20% year on year revenue growth and a 17% increase in AOV. Um, AOV in particular was a really big focus for them. Um, and another way that they were able to achieve this was creating a commission strategy that ensured that they were paying less for any conversions that occurred that had used a coupon code. So that's just another one of the um, functionalities of the platform from a commissioning perspective. And that really, again, helps to kind of boost that margin that you see via the channel. So in terms of this case study, uh, we do have it available on our website alongside a whole host of other case studies. If you would like to read about it in a bit more detail, so that can be um, accessed at www.partnerize.com forward slash case studies. However, if you do have any questions on um, this presentation today, the search case study or indeed any of the case studies that I talked through, um, I would definitely encourage you to get in touch. Um, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time uh, to play back this session. And again, a big thank you to, um, to the team for having me on.